Just a little disclaimer. I love Steven Universe. This series is done purely for fun and to point out some flaws in Steven Universe logic, not for any malicious or defaming intentions. Thank you. Literally only five seconds in, and we've already hit what's possibly one of the best looking shots in the entire show. Working hard is important, but feeling good is important too. This sentiment doesn't exactly apply when the entire world is at stake. This display. You're not making anything. Well, if it isn't anything, then why does it sound so good? Not the point she was making, but okay. Devoid of substance or purpose, a hypothetical pattern. Hypotheticals are if someone speaks in what ifs. It isn't actually a tangible thing, but rather an idea that someone brainstorms but has yet to implement. What part of music is exactly hypothetical? At most, the idea behind certain note strings and rhythms could be seen as hypothetical. But what Steven is playing, and by extension, what Steven is about to play, is far from hypothetical. Interest without meaning? Solutions without problems. How is any of what you just said related? Life and death and love and birth and peace in war on the planet Earth. Another good one, although I will admit it does get a little annoying after a while. Not enough to deny these sins being taken off, though. Come on and sing it with me. Sing? You already know what singing is, Peridot. Case in point, this line back in Too Far. So that doesn't explain the spontaneous singing, crying, singing while crying. <laughs> The words relate to the key. Key. Now you sing me, fa me, me, fa me, ti, la. How do you expect her to understand what you just said? Lion's fur and mane colors are inverted in this shot. How the fuck do you even miss that? In this shot, Amethyst is shown to have quite a bit of space to the left. However, in the next shot, she's suddenly directly next to Garnet. Pearl's mouth goes over her finger when it moves down in this shot. Cruniverse, really? Nice work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't quite see what was funny about that. No more naps? Actually, death is just one big eternal nap, so that's not necessarily the case. Plus, if the planet were to blow up, how does that affect someone's ability to go to sleep somewhere else exactly? Alright, I'm about to get a little confusing here, so bear with me. In this first shot, we see four diamonds on the floor here. The order, starting from this door and working down from left to right, goes pink, blue, yellow, and white. Judging by the angle of Lion's slide here, the angle of this shot should indicate that the order of the diamonds, starting from the bottom and going from right to left, should also be pink, blue, yellow, and white. However, in between these two shots, the white and yellow diamonds somehow switch places. Also in this first shot, there's a door between blue and pink diamonds images. But in a later shot, the door is just gone. I was bouncing on the moon one day. <clears throat> we really are on the moon. What, did Amethyst's little door opening situation earlier not clue you into that? Dumbass. Hmm, okay. Let's see here. Steven just turned that on, so why did it just randomly shut off? Now there's no colony, and there's gonna be no Earth, so... Thank you, Rose Quartz. You doomed the planet. Cruniverse, you literally wrote this dialogue while Peridot and the Gems are working to save the planet. Peridot herself is assisting in the effort so that her and the Earth don't die. So why is she suddenly saying that the Earth is going to be destroyed when she is literally working to save it? Did you just forget that Peridot was doing this? Or did you write this just for the sake of pathetically forced drama? For fuck's sake. You, listen to me. No. Christ, who brought up the bass in this voice clip? Kinda hurts my ears. <laughs> you know, maybe instead of going around and destroying things that make you upset, you could... I don't know. Find a way to use a device with literally tons of possibly useful diamond info to your advantage. How does Garnet not see what Peridot is holding? Judging from the next episode, it's clear that the gems know that thing connects straight to the diamonds. And it's right in Garnet's line of sight here, so what the hell? Plus, even if Garnet somehow didn't see it, are we just forgetting that Future Vision is a thing? Surely her contacting the diamonds would come up as a possibility, right?
you listen to me now. You are talking about things that you do not understand. Special thanks to my $10 patrons, Ekum, who wants me to say. I don't know what I want you to say. Um, hold on, let me think. Wait, don't say that for the Patreon thing. And Felipe, who wants me to scream. Future Vision! I want to also give a special thanks to my $5 patrons. Arm Juice, Bear Kawaii Desu, Joseph O'Neill, and Lady Whimsical. The link to support me via Patreon is available in the description.